Okay, so this is the McGovern hitch and I am going to show you how to tie it. So single line hitch without a rope wrench. I've been climbing on this already for hours today and you can see the action on it. Still perfectly good. Um, I find that it's easiest to learn to tie something from having it untied in front of you first. So this side through here. Just a single twist left. Comes out one, two, three, four, five barrels. Six times around is the twist. So, all right. Here's the high one. Here's the low one. It's about twice as long on the low one. Go around the outside. You can go on the inside, but it doesn't act as well. So if you come on the outside and then go in, tie it once. This is a 32 inch hitch, hitch cord. So far, um, all the hitch cords that I've used, they've all been eight millimeter hitch cords and they've all been 32 inch. 30 inches are too short um, is what I found. So you just go through like that. Then you break right above the first uh, uh, barrel, bottom of the first barrel, come through and go around second time back in through. You want to try and dress this so that it's a twist, not barrels. The twist seems to act better. But again, it's not make or break on the hitch. It's just what, how the hitch is going to run uh, is the best part of it. Then you're going to release and do a dress and see how these come out parallel. This has got that nice twist. That's exactly how you want to see it. And then it should come out. Now it's down. Okay. And when I tie it, I basically get my three barrels together, first cross, second cross, and then it's on the on top of the bottom. Well, and then just like everybody else, fully flip through. And it's technically not going to be dressed properly until you've actually tested it. It'll still be normally too stiff. See, when I get a pull, so it'll catch you, but it just doesn't want to run. But once I put my weight in it, it'll come up in balance now, and then I can let it off. And now you see, well, it's much easier. And see, I just dressed it differently, and it's stiff again. So I'll stand on it. Get a nice twist on it. Yeah. Now it's running. And you can always do the brake thing with it. But a little bit of little bit of play with it back and forth. And now it's good to go. Ready to work. And that's how to tie the McGovern hitch.